Well, and I hope, David Pluff, that we're done debating whether or not there's systematic racism in this country. I know Bill Barr struggled with it. Lots of Republicans struggle with it. I hope that's over because there it was. There it was. United States senator was not afraid on 1-6 because the insurrectionists who may be charged with sedition love their country because what? They looked like him? They were white? Well, Nicole, sadly, the debate's not over. I think it's, if anything, more intensified over the last six to 12 months. Um, you know, Doc Rivers' comment so powerful. By the way, hopefully the coach of the world champion Philadelphia 76ers in a few months. We'll see about that. But listen, Ron Johnson sounds like a senator from Alabama in 1921, not a senator from Wisconsin in 2021. But make no mistake, I mean, Michael, so many former Republicans, um, you know, the reason they're in this fight, this is now democracy versus autocracy. It is, right. it is basically white supremacists are on the rise, not just on January 6th. They're driving. It is now becoming mainstream. Uh, you see Fox News personnel is increasingly talking about the fight for traditional America. Um, so I think a lot of them are saying the quiet part out loud. And so we need everybody who may disagree on a whole bunch of issues, but believes that our democracy and voting rights should be sacrosanct, that winners of election should govern, uh, that racism is structural and is a continual battle in this country. We all need to stand together because the dividing lines could not be clearer. And I think some of these things that we thought would fade into the uh, shadows of history are right on our doorstep again. Uh, and by the way, Ron Johnson, he says he maybe he'll retire, maybe he'll run for your election. Ex what Ron Johnson said right there, when you're in Iowa and South Carolina and New Hampshire in 2023 in Republican audiences, it will get applauded. And sadly, that's where we are uh, in, in most of the Republican Party right now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.